Here's hoping you'll never have to use it. But if you do get a flat tire, knowing how to use your tire service kit repair system will get you back on the road quickly and safely. A quick note, though. For more detailed information, including where the tire service kit is stored on your vehicle, refer to the instruction manuals on the owner's information DVD. Remember that roadside assistance may be available. Consult the instruction manuals on the owner's information DVD for details. If you do experience a flat tire, pull over to a safe location and turn on your hazard lights. Position the tire that needs inflating so that the valve stem is located near the ground. This will allow the tire service kit hoses to reach the valve stem with the tire service kit flat on the ground. Place the transmission in park for automatic transmission vehicles or in gear for manual transmissions. Turn off the ignition and set the parking brake. Place the tire service kit on the ground next to the flat tire. Now on the kit, push in and turn the mode select knob to the sealant mode position and uncoil the clear sealant hose. Remove the cap from the fitting at the end of the hose. Remove the valve stem cap and screw the sealant hose fitting onto the valve stem. Next, uncoil the power plug on the kit and connect it to the vehicle's power outlet. If your vehicle is equipped with a manual transmission, you'll need to put the transmission in neutral at this point. Go ahead now and start the engine. Push the power button on the tire service kit and the sealant should start flowing from the bottle through the hose and into the tire. Run the pump until the sealant stops flowing into the flat tire. The pressure may read up to 70 PSI, however it will quickly drop once the sealant bottle is empty. The pump will start to add air into the tire after the bottle is empty. Continue to fill the tire to the correct pressure indicated on the tire placard. If the tire does not inflate to 26 PSI within 15 minutes, the tire is too severely damaged and will need to be replaced. Do not drive the vehicle. Once the tire has reached the correct pressure, turn the pump off. Remove the speed limit sticker reminder from the top of the sealant bottle and place the sticker on the instrument panel. Disconnect the sealant hose from the valve stem and install the valve stem cap. Unplug the kit from the power outlet and place the kit in its proper storage location. The next step is important. Drive the vehicle for five miles or 10 minutes to ensure the sealant is distributed within the tire. Do not drive the vehicle faster than 55 miles per hour like the sticker says. After five miles or 10 minutes, pull over again to a safe place to check the tire pressure using the tire service kit. Push in and turn the mode select knob on the kit to the air mode position. Plug the tire service kit into the power outlet and connect the black air hose to the valve stem. Check the tire pressure on the gauge. If the pressure is less than 19 PSI, do not drive the vehicle until the tire has been replaced. If the tire has more than 19 PSI, turn the power button on and add the air necessary to return the tire pressure to the correct pressure indicated on the tire placard. If the tire becomes overinflated, Push the deflation button to reduce the tire pressure to the recommended level. Disconnect the tire service kit from the valve stem and install the valve stem cap. Unplug the kit from the power outlet and place the kit in its proper storage location. Be sure to have the tire inspected and repaired as soon as possible and inform the service advisor that the tire was sealed with the tire service kit. To replace the used sealant bottle, uncoil the sealant hose and remove the sealant bottle from the kit. Purchase a new sealant bottle available from the dealership and install it in the kit so the sealant hose aligns with the hose slot in the front of the housing. Install the cap on the fitting at the end of the sealing hose and return the hose to its storage location on the kit. Then return the tire service kit to its storage location in the vehicle. A quick note here, you can also use the tire service kit pump to inflate balls, air mattresses and other inflatables you'll find adapters in a compartment on the bottom of the unit. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or dodge.com slash en slash owners slash manuals for complete details and other important safety information.